Brownfield High with Zayn Morin and we have Keyshawn Deaver. Do you have anything to say? Yeah. Last Friday, came off a loss to Denver City. Score was, what was it, 38? 37-23. Tough loss. How do you think our defense performed? In the first half, our defense was getting it, but then the second half, Lane Buddy and Austin Gunnels, they weren't clicking at that middle linebacker spot, and they just let them score. They weren't supposed to. We would have won if our defense would have worked. Speaking of our defense, mentioning uh, Lane and Gunnels, um, well, what about our offense? How did they perform? I think in the first quarter, our offense, our offensive line just wasn't getting to it, except for me. I, I was working the whole time, but one person can't do the line of five, can't do the job of five people. But after that, we started getting to it, and we started getting a move on it. And I, as a team, we just succeeded, and we scored, and we could have went, we could have won to Denver City if our defense would have just stepped up and did their role. We also had a really, really big game from JC. You know, one throwing touchdown, one receiving. How do you think his performance was? Yeah. So, JC had one receiving touchdown and one throwing touchdown. How do you think his performance was? I think his performance was absolutely amazing. He's just such a team player, and he just got us those points that we needed. Those were crucial points and crucial moments. He threw the ball under pressure. That was my bad. I thought he was supposed to be on the other side of me because in practice, he was always on the numbers. He wasn't. That's on me. That's my bad. And he was just going off all game, even though he only had 30 yards receiving. Those were big yards. All right. Thank you for your time. Coming off our loss to DC, how did it feel in the first half on oh. your side of the ball? Yeah, the first half was not so good. Our line was kind of struggling at the beginning. But that second half came in, we got a lot of things changed, and we started clicking. You you expressed yourself in the first half. You said... Yes, I did. What, what were those exact words? I mean, we got, you know, just don't say it, actually. just. Can y'all please block for me? Yeah, I heard it. I was low key scared. I'm not gonna lie. You don't you don't see this dude mad, and when you do, it's a scary sight. They said I was getting mad. I mean, yeah, it's pretty heated. Yeah, that first half. Screw those helmets. That's what. That's literally it. Not the helmet. You had a really really good pass to Taylor, who caught it yes, one handed. How many yards was that? Like about what 40, 50? 40, 50 yard touchdown. I think it was. Which is also, you also got a receiving touchdown from your best I, friend. I did. How, how did that feel? My boy JC, little Chihuahua. You little know. Chihuahua. It, it felt amazing. Me and him, you know, have that that duo right there. Um, when he threw that ball, I, I didn't know what was gonna happen. I thought it was short at first, but then I looked at, I was like, hold up, it's right in the end zone. I can catch this. Yeah. Caught it. Touchdown. You're also in, you're also in a falling motion when you caught it. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah. I'm not uh, gonna lie. Whenever I was seeing, I was like. Please catch it. Please catch it. <laughs> hey, I, had, I had to do everything to catch that ball. I had to, I had to make sure to catch it. And plus, there's a linebacker coming at me. And, you know, I'm a quarterback. I don't like getting hit. So, yeah, you know, I had yeah. to kind of fall to the floor to catch that one. I was surprised you actually caught it because every time we run it in practice, we just yeah. – doesn't happen. I don't know what it is. It might be JC. I don't know. I was getting pressured. <laughs> 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 When he when he has pressure, he throws a better ball than he does on the way. Yeah, I honestly don't know how he got that ball off. <laughs> he was all up he in was, his grill. He was in the air when he threw that ball. It was the craziest arm motion I've ever seen. It was it was beautiful. Yeah, thanks to Keyshawn not blocking. But hey, you know, hey, touchdowns you know, a touchdown. Touchdowns, touchdowns. You know. <laughs> all right, thanks having you on the show. <laughs> thanks for having me. We have Lane Bundy sporting the goatee, looking real nice. Thank you. <laughs> Our defense. Tragic to talk about it, but you know, first half y'all were out there balling, mm -hmm. and then second half I don't know what happened. Just can you give me your opinion on that? Well, I just want to say, uh, second half I didn't go in at all except the first drive. The second half, M me Oregonos did it. Okay, so it's not Joe's fault. So for the most part, it's not our fault. So no, because we hardly went in. Hmm? So, yeah. All right, since you weren't in, how was the energy on the sideline in that second half? It, it was lacking on the defense. No one was getting run past call. Uh, everyone was just quiet just and just watching the game like they were just a spectator. What about on the offensive side of the ball? 
they're going crazy. Especially that uh, uh, that touchdown from uh, JC. That throwing touchdown. Everyone was going off on the sideline. We also had a little miss input from Coach Flores. He didn't think we had the touchdown, but we did. <laughs> Y'all would know. <laughs> he was getting on to us, and we just stood there. We're like, we scored the touchdown, though. No, y'all didn't. We're like, he threw his arms up. Did he? Oh, that's on me. <laughs> that, was, that was real funny. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, that was real funny. Just, I'll give you 10. Yeah, I'll give you 10 after this. He never did give us our 10. Yeah, he never did. You know what? We got to tell him about Yeah, we got to tell him about this. We can tell him. Practice that. Okay. Um, Our offense that first half, what was your opinion on that? I mean, it wasn't as good as second half, obviously. Um, energy was lacking on the sideline uh, for the offense, too. But uh, we made some adjustments at, at halftime and uh, fixed it. All right. Being the son of Ted Bundy, how did... FBI, open up! <laughs> yeah, hey, do that. We keeping that in there. Cut, cut. <laughs> hey, do that. <laughs> we keep that in there. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. <laughs> All right, pl- yeah, pleasure, pleasure to have you on the show. <laughs> pleasure, no, pleasure no, to have you on the show. To, uh, pleasure to, to have you on the show. Bro. Hello, I'm here with JC Carrillo, aka Lo Chihuahua. You had a throwing touchdown. Yes, I did. Really surprised me, considering your receiver. It came off a reverse from Josh. Mm-hmm. And you had a defender all up in your face and just threw it up. Yeah, I had to pray and hope that Zarius caught it. I knew where he was going to be, but couldn't see him, so I just threw it. Why couldn't you see him? Because we had a lineman who just thought I was going to be at the other numbers, let his dude run right by him, and he was right in my face. You also had a receiving touchdown, first of your varsity career. Mm-hmm. Um, how did that come about? Um, we came off the field after a timeout or something, and coach was like, we're going to run this play, run it right. We've never worked on it before. So I was supposed to run an out route. Cornerback sat down, and I had to stop. Zarius threw me the ball, took a mean hit as he was throwing it. I caught it, took a mean hit as well, and touchdown. All right, the defense... What was your opinion on their performance? They folded. Buns and guns seen some big linemen folded under pressure. It's not what we're supposed to do. But they did good in the first quarter. After that, everything just went downhill on the defensive side, uphill on the offensive side. It was a very low-scoring game that first half. What was it, 9-3? to three? Mm-hmm. And the, the, the result was crazy. It was like a scoregami game. You know, just everybody touched down left and right. Mm-hmm. So. Fastest I've ever seen the Cubs score. Ever best. On multiple drives as well. Yeah, that was crazy that we had that many touchdowns just like that. Hey, AC, yeah. pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks pleasure. for having me. <laughs> Hello, I'm here with our wide receivers coach, Coach Carroll. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yep. All right, so we have a mix up next. Yep. How do you think our receivers do against them? I think they'll do pretty good. Um, second half against Denver City, they really showed out. Um, caught a lot of balls, no drops, um, got a lot of yards. I mean, a lot of that's with our O line and uh, quarterback as well. But um, they've been a pretty consistent group all year, so I think they'll have a, a good performance this week. Speaking of our game against Denver City, what was your opinion on that first half for the offense? First half was rough, rough, rough first half. Um, protection wasn't great, um, and we just weren't able to really get in a flow on the offensive side of the ball. Um, second half, we made some adjustments with our O line, and I think they really took a uh, took to it. And obviously, it showed in the second half. We were able to score three straight possessions. All right, well, thank you for your time. All right, thank you. Good luck. Hello, I'm here with one of our BHS cheerleaders. How do you think we did last Friday? I did really good. <laughs> um, y'all played 
good and had fun watching it and cheering for y'all. All right, who's our best lineman? Zayden. See, see. <laughs> Hello, I'm here with. Is that funny, huh? <laughs> AKA Zeppelini. All right, as the best player in our band. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, hey, course, course, phenomenal course. performance at the spare of the bands. Hard carry, you hard carry. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> I try. You always try? Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> How do you think we did last Friday? In the football game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to be honest, I think I actually did pretty well since. Um, what district is this? Denver City? They're in our district. <laughs> in the oh, same district? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, considering that they're in the same district, I'd say we like, did pretty well since, like considering the video game, you know, like we kept up with them. Well, y'all kept up with them, like from like from the beginning all the way to the end, you know. And which, you know, like everyone at that point was kind of tired too. It's kind of understandable. But yeah, y'all did pretty well, you know, trying to keep up with the points. You know? Thank you. Uh, how do you think the band performed Friday? Uh, you know, we try to do our best, you know. Then like, there's some people that can't, you know, like, Get the music, but that's fine, but you know, just like, you just need to practice, that's all you're really doing today. Okay, well, thank you for having me on the show. No thank you. I love you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm here with the... The GOAT, Austin Sisson. Injured against Kermit, right? Yep, yep. Unfortunately, right. I was a season-ending injury. Season-ending, uh, horrible second time. Uh, thought it was gonna be, thought it was gonna be the end of my career, but I'm gonna come back next year. I'll be here next year. We miss you, we miss you. I miss y'all too, boys. All right, so Denver City, mm -hmm. how do you think our defense performed? Uh, it 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 was slow in the first first half, uh, or the first drive. They scored pretty easy, and then they came together. They they did their jobs and their assignments, but at the end of the game, uh, they they were the, they're the ones that kept us close to the game. You know, offense played phenomenal, but uh, defense they I mean they had some stuff to fix, and I think they're gonna fix it this week. How do you think our linebacker core is without you as, you know, our mic back? You know, uh, we got a young guy, uh, Kaden Wise. Uh, he hasn't played that before, but I mean, he stepped up. He stepped up to the job and I think he's doing pretty good for his first time. All right, so while being sidelined, how does it make you feel to watch us play while you're there just, you know, calling the plays and helping with the defense? You know, I mean, I can't be out there playing, but I'm I'm helping on the sideline, calling out plays, and try to help, try to help uh, any way I can on defense and whoever needs me, I'm there to help them. All right, thank you, thank yes, you, sir. Sure. Thank y'all. Pleasure being on your show. I'm your host, J.C. Crillo, and today I'm here with Zayden Thomas. Yeah. Okay. Zayden. And today they're gonna be making random noises. Try not to laugh. Rapid fire. No breaks, no nothing. She's ready. <laughs> Yeah, that's 
that's all, folks. Did you say your last name? Krilla. All right, how are you doing today, sir? Great. All right, uh, last Friday, did you go with that on? No. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Who's our best lineman? Who's our best lineman? Keisha. Hello. Welcome to the Try Not to Squirt Challenge. Hey,